everybody, this is Casual Sundays on Sister Yard Video. I'm Amy Martin, and today we are here with Kyle Victory, who is a visual arts major at the college. How are you today, Kyle? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Would you like to get started? Sure. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. When did you first get into art? Well, um, my father's an artist. He did uh, political cartoons for his uh, local paper. Um, after he graduated college, and he was really good at drawing, and so he wanted to pass that on to me, I guess. And so, would you say he was your biggest inspiration? Or Definitely, yeah, for sure. Is there a particular artist that you'd say you aspire to? Or hmm, not really. Like, I like to look at a variety of art. Um, I really like contemporary art the most. Right, okay. Um, I also like, you know, impressionism and certain like periods like that. Uh, but really everything can be an inspiration in some way. Do you have like an example of something that inspired you for one of these paintings in particular? This is my friend Derek and he inspired me as right. a person. Okay. Um, we were assigned to do a portrait of somebody who's like super unique and um, that you could describe just through visuals. And I think the painting describes him pretty well. He's a physics major at the College of Charleston. Nice. Um, and <laughs> I like the coffee mug that he's holding. <laughs> um, so. And is there a particular medium that you prefer to work with? Like, is paint or do you like collage? Well, mostly, um, I've done most painting. Um, right. But I like charcoal drawing about as much as painting. It's a lot cheaper. So where do you do most of your artwork? Is it? Well, um, I used to do it in the painting studio at CFC. It's one of the best on the East Coast. Um, it's up on the fourth floor of the Cato Center. Um, but now that I've moved houses and I have my own room and my own porch, I like to paint on my porch because nice. I don't have to worry about my stuff getting stolen or like anything and it's very peaceful out there. Right. So. And does any of your art displayed anywhere? Like, do you go to any exhibitions or...? Um, I've had a few of these displayed. I know this drawing right here was in the Halsey and then this one is actually a commission for a friend that was over her bed. Oh, right. And then this one of the <laughs> presidents over there is going to be sent to Pittsburgh in a couple of weeks for another Ooh. friend. And do you have any like more abstract pieces? Like, not really right now. Um, right. I'm trying to explore, with, like, expand my style and do mm. more of that. Um, so I think this year's going to be fun. Yeah, and I'll come up with some cool things. <laughs> and Charleston seems like a very art-focused city. Like they have. First Friday of the month, and when they open all the art galleries. So, is it the ideal place to paint? Or? I definitely think so. Um, I go to First Fridays all the time and walk around. It's amazing the variety um, of art that you see, yeah. which is cool. And I like to look at all of it because I like to be able to find inspiration in all of that. Right. Um, but you'll see people who've been painting Charleston scenes for 30 or 40 years, and then you'll see contemporary artists that are like doing it crazy things that you've never seen before. So what does art mean to you then? Like, is it just a cause, is it a hobby, or is it like character defining? What would you say it means to you? Well, that's a very interesting question. Um, I've kind of struggled with that, like the meaning of art to me right. for a while because I've been in so many classes where teachers are like, what does this painting mean? And I'll be like, I do not know, I just like the image. Yeah. But now, like, I think to me, art truly is just like an escape or like um, right. a mode of like relaxation. I can sit there, like if I have the right palette out, I can sit there and work on a painting for a whole day and not even know that the day has passed. And that's the only thing in life for me that's like that. Thank you very much for talking with us today, Cam. See you again soon. Sounds great. And thank you very much for watching today. If you'd like to leave any comments, then you can comment below about art, or how you feel about art, if, what it means to you. Um, subscribe to our channel for more news on Sister Nyan video and for more casual Sundays.